Hello everyone. This video provides an introduction to where to find answers to frequently asked questions when developing software using Processor SDK for Texas Instruments Real-Time Operating System or TI RTOS. Processor SDK RTOS is a unified software development package that is designed to help users to quickly develop applications on TI processors using TI RTOS. It also enables maximum software reuse when migrating to the next generation of TI processors. Let us start off by looking at the landing page for all the documentation that relates to this software package. You can locate this document by searching on ti.com under Developers Wiki and look for the topic Processor SDK RTOS Software Developers Guide. The first link that shows up in the results should take you to the landing page. The developer's guide offers a broad range of links to references that describe the setup, features, hardware, and software components that support application development using Processor SDK RTOS. Let us take a closer look at the Processor SDK RTOS Frequently Asked Questions section, which covers a range of topics based on recurring user queries that are posted on TI E2E forums. The purpose of the FAQ is to provide you with a quick and easy access to answers to commonly asked questions before posting a question on TI E2E forums. The document is maintained and updated with every new Processor SDK RTOS release. As new questions emerge, more answers will be added to the FAQ to address new features and other changes to Processor SDK RTOS. The Frequently Asked Questions or the FAQ is organized to cover all the functional areas of the SDK and is sequenced according to the order that a typical Processor SDK RTOS user will encounter each function during the development cycle. The first section of the FAQ talks about general support topics. General support explains the purpose of Processor SDK RTOS development environment and how to keep up with the latest Processor SDK RTOS updates on TI.com. It also provides guidance in terms of filing feature requests and bugs against Processor SDK RTOS and also offers migration paths for existing TI processor users to move their software code base from legacy platforms to latest Processor SDK RTOS. Training and documentation provides links to key online training resources and software wikis for learning more about Processor SDK RTOS package. Next, you will find answers to common host and target setup issues that users may encounter when setting up Processor SDK RTOS for new development. It addresses issues that are commonly encountered by users when they install the package under custom locations rather than the default paths. It provides tips to ensure the user's environment setup allows rebuilding of SDK components and develop pre-provided examples. For example, how to set up the Code Composer Studio environment so that Processor SDK RTOS components are discovered in CCS. The Device Driver section provides answers on SDK drivers which enable users to exercise peripheral interfaces on the target platform. Processor SDK RTOS device drivers are found inside Platform Development Kit or PDK component. One of the most frequently asked questions about Processor SDK RTOS is how users can test the device drivers on the EVM platform, as well as whether sample code is available to run the device drivers. Here you will find scripts that are needed to create CCS projects for device driver examples that are provided as part of Processor SDK RTOS. The subsequent sections of the FAQ provide answers about low-level components such as chip support library, diagnostics, and board library. It then continues to look at high-level OS-dependent components like interprocessor communication and the network development kit. The board library section addresses more advanced topics such as porting processor SDK RTOS software to custom platform. This topic covers wide variety of SOC requirements including clocking, power management, external memory initialization, and pin muxing, 
all of which are required for porting to a custom platform. It also talks about tools and utilities that TI provides to add with the porting effort. We hope that the FAQ proves to be a valuable resource for your development while using Processor SDK RTOS. We greatly value your inputs, so please submit your comments and suggestions regarding how we can improve the Processor SDK RTOS FAQ on TI E2E forums. Thanks for your time.